Unless you're about 100 years old, you have never seen this before. Baseball is witnessing something insane. I don't want to say freak, but he's close to it. Imagine if Tom Brady led the league in touchdowns thrown and sacks. That is how crazy it would be if one of the best hitters in the league and one of the best pitchers in the league were the same person. But that's exactly what's going on. Shohei Otani, the first two-way star in a hundred years, goes against everything we thought we knew about baseball, and yet, he is making it look easy. So, quick question. What's a two-way player? And why isn't everyone doing it? It's showtime. For all of modern baseball history, there have been two distinct types of baseball players. Pitchers and hitters. While some pitchers know how to swing the bat, most of them are just out there trying not to get hurt. Maybe I'll just give up on the hitting part. Yeah, strike three. And while every once in a while a hitter will get called in to eat a couple innings in a blowout game, they definitely aren't taking the mound every five days. And that's the way it's been since the birth of position specialization over a hundred years ago. Check out our Pitch Types episodes for that refresher. And you know, like, comment, subscribe, yada yada yada. What that basically means is, as baseball got popular, players really started to focus in on what they were best at. If you were especially good at hitting, you only did that. And while pitchers still had to bat on the days they started, their real job was only to get better at throwing. Check out our DH episode for that refresher. What Otani's doing, pitching and hitting at elite levels, is extremely rare, but not unprecedented. In 1918, Babe Ruth was a pitcher, but he hit so well on the days he pitched that the Red Sox started playing him in the field just to get his bat in the lineup. Ruth not only won nine games on the mound, but hit 11 home runs to lead the American League. Think about that. The last time there was a dominant two-way player in Major League Baseball, a gallon of gas cost a quarter. The following year he hit 29 home runs, then he went to the Yankees and his pitching days were pretty much over. To the Yankees, his bat was just too valuable to risk him pitching. The two-way hitter lived on a few decades longer in the Negro Leagues, where smaller rosters meant it wasn't uncommon for players to serve double duty. For Ted Radcliffe, it became a calling card. He earned his moniker during a doubleheader, where he hit a grand slam while playing catcher in game one, and then threw a complete game shutout as a pitcher in game two. And then there was Martin Diego. The man didn't just pitch and hit. He logged over 200 innings at every position except catcher. He was even a player manager for a season with the New York Cubans. But what Otani is doing is just another level. He's the best baseball player I've ever seen in my life. He can hit a ball 900 feet and throw 99 <laughs> off the mound. Yeah. Like, who else it. is doing that, bro? While it's common for baseball players in the U.S. to hit and pitch in high school and college, there's even an award for it named after two-way college phenom John Olrood. Every player has had to make the choice. To succeed at the major league level, to really stick, it's all about being great in one area. No one's been able to excel by splitting their focus in two. So why has Otani's story unfolded differently? Well, it was mostly by chance. Like many American high school prospects, Otani was a two-way star in Japan. He led his team deep into the Koshin, a national high school tournament that is a huge deal there. He was one of the highest profile prospects in Japanese baseball history, and everyone everywhere was interested in signing him. Japanese teams in the Nippon Professional Baseball League viewed Otani as a pitcher. American teams viewed him as a hitter. If he signed with the major league team, he almost certainly would have been asked to focus on just his hitting. The 18-year-old phenom, like dozens of two-way players before him, was ready to focus on just one skill set. He declared his intent to play in MLB and asked the Japanese teams not to draft him. But the Nippon Ham Fighters had an ace up their sleeve. Nippon Ham got 30ページにも及ぶこうプレゼンの資料を持ってその中に二刀流バッターもやるピッチャーもやるこういう風に使っていたらどうかなっていう。The MPB has a more robust tradition of two-way players than MLB. However, the league hadn't seen a bona fide two-way player in 60 years. あ、これは一概にピッチャー一本にしろって言えないぐらいすごい才能なんだなっていうのをこう直接見た選手たちはみんな一様に。the club took a risk, and it paid off. Otani signed. Otani wasn't the second coming of Babe Ruth right out of the gate. 
It took time for the rookie to adjust to the professional level as a two-way player. Time he may not have been given with another team or a league. He spent five seasons with the MPB, proving himself as a two-way threat. He racked up a league championship and a whole host of hardware. Still, when Otani had the opportunity to take his talent stateside, he had to choose carefully. Even after proving himself in the NPB, there was no guarantee he'd get the chance to be a two-way player in MLB. But just like the Nippon Ham Fighters, the Angels were willing to take the risk. So that's it. Take one part phenom talent, add an open-minded GM, a healthy dose of patience, and voila, we all get to witness history. But what happens next? It's like Otani unlocked a cheat code. Teams get two star players for the price and roster spot of one. So does that mean other two-way players are going to follow? Maybe. There are a few players in the minors being given the chance. So maybe Otani is just a peek at the future where two-way players are normal. If more players were given the chance to do both, maybe they'd surprise us. With a little practice and determination, your favorite fireballer could be capable of launching bombs. And those cannons in the outfield? Who's to say they couldn't throw gas? Brett Phillips' first pitching appearance. 94. <laughs> They're going, what? Or maybe Otani is just different. <laughs>